The Poilet Seamoss Farmers Association, guided by Export St. Lucia, have maintained their exports despite increased competition on the international market for the high-priced commodity. Details in this report. Export St. Lucia says the island Seamoss still attracts a higher price than any other Seamoss on the market, despite increased competition from Latin America and other Caribbean territories. However, some Seamoss farmers on island have noted with anxiety a reduction in rates per pound since more players have entered this mariculture business internationally. CEO of Export St. Lucia, Sunita Daniel, weighs in on this concern. The international market price would go down because you have so many entrants to the market, now you'd find that there would be complaints. Um, so they have to decide on their own whether for their business model they, could, they should continue um, exporting CMOS or not. What we want to advise persons is that the market for CMOS remains, the demand for CMOS remains, what you should not expect, and I don't think any business person should really expect, is to get abnormally high prices for your CMOS. Export St. Lucia works with the Prale CMOS Farmers Association, and Daniel reports that the association maintains high standards in the market and turns a profit. We, as a government agency, have continued to work with our CMOS farmers. We continue to give them the support that they require. We continue working with them on their packaging, and we continue working with them on the quality of product. The farmers we work with are selling their CMOS, and they're making a profit. She encourages private entities operating CMOS farms and exporting to submit a quality product. We've had a lot of persons not exactly doing what they're supposed to do in terms of maintaining the standards, in terms of how um, the branding and the packaging of the product is supposed to be done. So the farmers we work with know the standards. They know the branding, they know the packaging requirements. A lot of persons have entered the market, are doing their own thing, and so this is what would happen when, when they go on their own. The Export St. Lucia CEO laments that buyers have reported substandard CMOS coming from some private local entities entities that do not have any ties with her organization. This, she says, is impacting the sector's reputation. We know of persons who have exported substandard CMOS. We know distributors will send us pictures and tell us this is the CMOS we're getting. We don't know those persons. These are persons, private individuals who have gone out and sold CMOS and doing their own thing and the product is now, the product they're sen selling is so substandard that it's now affecting the entire St. Lucia CMOS brand. So we want to caution persons. Um, if you're entering the business to do it right. Daniel advises CMOS farmers who may have issues with production to seek guidance from the Department of Fisheries and for branding assistance, export St. Lucia. St. Lucia's is the first profitable cultivation of seaweeds in the Atlantic Ocean or the Caribbean Sea. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting.